Maplewood Richmond Heights Elementary is dealing with hundreds of thousands of dollars in water damage after a pipe burst on Christmas Day. It's keeping students out of school until next Monday while crews clean up and assess the damage. Five on your side's Elise Schoenig explains how the community is coming together for students. Maplewood Richmond Heights Elementary suffered a lot of water damage and now cleanup is underway. This particular learning area that I'm standing in was filled to the top with water. In about a week or so, it won't look like this. It'll be our elementary school again. The last half of winter break for Maplewood Richmond Heights Elementary was anything but a break. A four inch suppression water pipe uh, failed right inside the front doors to the main entrance of the school. And we estimate that the water was probably flowing for a good hour. Uh, look at that ramp right now. District spokesperson Ed Rich says a neighbor sent him this video Christmas Day. Now they're left with what could be hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. That includes about 19 classrooms, our principal's offices, some auxiliary offices. The gymnasium floor will have to be replaced. As crews work to assess and repair, teachers and staff can return to their spaces this week to assess their own damage. But through the water woes, the Richmond Heights community has been a lifeboat. It's just like an extended winter break camp. What kid wouldn't love to go to camp for just one more week, right? The city's community center is taking in students for the week to help parents and families. As the school dries up and fills up again, Rich says nothing can wash away their space and what it carries. These are personal spaces to them. You know, this is where they uh, carry out our prime mission, which is to educate youngsters. In Richmond Heights, Elise Schoenig, five on your side. And Ed Rich says the school plans to return next Monday, January 9th. He also says students will not have to make up any days of school beyond the scheduled last day.